From her different upbringing to her feuds with royal family members. This is the controversy of Meghan Markle and the royal family. Number 10, Meghan. This actress turned royal family member has become extremely well known in recent years. There's pretty much no way you haven't heard about Meghan at this point, considering her internationally televised marriage to Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. But in case you don't know much about this leading lady, we're going to tell you a little more about who she is and where she comes from. Meghan was born in Los Angeles, California in 1981 and is 37 years old. Her parents, Doria Ragland and Thomas Markle Sr., divorced when she was just six years old. When she began her career in acting, Meghan played small parts in movies and television shows, including General Hospital, Century City, and Get Him to the Greek. She was then cast in the series Suits on USA Network in 2011, and she finished her work on the show in 2017 for its seventh season. It was estimated by Fortune magazine that she made approximately $50,000 per episode, equaling about $450,000 every year. So, she was by no means struggling when she met Prince Harry. She also created a lifestyle site called The Tig in 2014 and used it to blog about beauty, travel, food, and fashion and made an additional $80,000 a year doing so. However, she was forced to shut down the site after marrying into the royal family. Number 9. Prince Harry These two went on their first date in July 2016. They were set up on a blind date by a mutual friend. Meghan later recalled that she did didn't know about Prince Harry despite his fame. During their interview with BBC, Meghan stated, Because I'm from the States, you don't grow up with the same understanding of the royal family. I didn't know much about him. So the only thing that I had asked, our friend, when she said that she wanted to set us up was, Well, is he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't seem like it would make sense. These lovebirds had sparks flying immediately and couldn't wait to see each other again. They spent about four months just enjoying each other's company and really getting to know one another. Prince Harry noted, I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana, and we camped out with each other under the stars. Then we were really by ourselves, which was crucial to me to make sure that we had a chance to get to know each other. The news that Harry and Meghan were together came out in October of that year, when a source revealed to the Sunday Express that the prince was happier than he's been in years. Meghan added that the time they had alone was wonderful, stating, We had a good five, six months almost with just privacy, which was amazing. After media outlets found out they were together, they began publishing unfavorable and false stories about Meghan and Harry. She told BBC about the trying time, noting, I think we were just hit so hard at the beginning with a lot of mistruths that I made the choice not to read anything, positive or negative. It just didn't make sense, and instead we focused all of our energies just on nurturing our relationship. Number 8. Marriage Prince Harry and Meghan got engaged in November 2017. This is when Markle was first introduced to the royal lifestyle. She went to official events with her then fiance and helped plan the wedding at the same time. They tied the knot in May 2018 in a magnificent ceremony held at Windsor Castle, making Meghan the Duchess of Sussex. People from all over the world watched the event on live television, and many famous people attended, including the Beckhams and Oprah. In October 2018, Kensington Palace told the world that Prince Harry and Meghan were expecting their first baby. Their child will be the seventh person in line for the throne, and will be the eighth great-grandchild of the Queen and Prince Philip. Number 7. Royal Traditions You've probably heard by now that the royal family has numerous strict rules and weird traditions that they're expected to follow, whether or not they agree with them. Since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got married, these guidelines are being questioned more and more. They have to curtsy and bow, stand when the Queen does, and don a tiara after 6 o'clock in the afternoon, among various other things. But not all royals are okay with following rules blindly or without purpose. One of the women who tried to remain true to herself throughout the process of becoming royalty was the widely loved Princess Diana. Prince Harry's mother. She spent a lot of time helping people in need and was very empathetic. She became known as the People's Princess and everyone admired her. After she passed away, people all over the world mourned. Meghan Markle is said to be facing many of the hardships that Princess Diana did during her first years married to Prince Charles. The alleged feuds that have arisen from the introduction to the royal lifestyle have had a toll on her, and she's apparently lost her voice, and she is unable to address any controversy for the sake of upholding her and Prince Harry's public images. Melanie Bromley, an E! News correspondent, claimed, Now she is a member of the royal family. She's lost her voice. She's not able to actually stick up for herself. I don't think anyone could have prepared her for this level of attention. It looks great on the outside, becoming a duchess becoming a princess, but it's horrific. It's a gilded cage, and now she's under so much negative attention, and there's nothing she can do about it. She added that Diana went through the same thing before she became a saint in the press. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, and now back to the video. Number 6. Father and Sister Since she and Prince Harry made their relationship public, Meghan has been facing many hardships concerning her father, Thomas, and her half-sister, Samantha. Some of the Duchess's close friends spoke to People magazine about the issues she's been dealing with. Her father had gone on Good Morning Britain and noted that she had shunned and ghosted him despite his daily attempts to text and call her. He later told the Daily Mail that she was cold. 
Thomas even added that everything Megan is, I made her, even though he backed out of the opportunity to walk her down the aisle. Megan's sister has also been saying some choice words to the media, but it seems that she is doing so for the publicity and has changed her last name from Grant back to Markle when news of her sister's royal engagement reached her. Since Megan has to refrain from speaking out about the drama, her friends stepped up to do it for her. They said Thomas knows how to get in touch with her. Her telephone number hasn't changed. She's never called, she's never texted. It's super painful, because Meg was always so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. And at the same time, because she's a daughter, she has a lot of sympathy for him. Before Meghan and Harry tied the knot, her and her dad even posed for stage paparazzi photographs to make himself look better. Apparently, after the pictures were revealed, Meghan and the prince still wanted to get him to London for the wedding. However, her friends further noted, the next morning when the car got there to take him to the airport, he wouldn't get in. Then Meg heard, he had a heart attack and she's calling and texting, even up to the night before the wedding. It was like, please pick up, I love you and I'm scared. It was endless. They said that the Duchess had even written her dad a letter after the wedding saying that she was heartbroken and pleaded him to stop victimizing her through the media in an attempt to mend their relationship. Number 5. Incorporating Heritage Although many people seem to have a problem with Prince Harry marrying an American actress, that didn't stop the bride from incorporating her heritage into the wedding. They had an American bishop give the sermon, and he quoted Martin Luther King Jr. The invitations were also printed on English paper with American ink. Meghan's mother rode with her to the church, and, as we stated previously, her father was supposed to walk her down the aisle. She also had many of her American friends there as guests. During the ceremony, the gospel choir sang, Stand By Me. Number 4. Kate Middleton There has been an alleged feud going on between Kate Middleton and the Duchess of Cambridge and wife of Prince William, and Meghan Markle. Apparently, the whole rumor began when now Duchess of Sussex made Kate cry, when her daughter Princess Charlotte was being fitted for a bridesmaid dress for the wedding. Kate left the appointment in tears. A broadcaster noted, Kate had just given birth to Prince Louis, so maybe she was a little bit emotional. Whatever the thing was, the future Queen of England was in tears over what Meghan had said to her. It has also been reported on some occasions that the women don't always agree on everything because they're very different regarding their personalities and upbringings. However, that doesn't mean that there's an all-out feud between them. Then, a royal journalist reported that Meghan and Prince Harry were upset that she didn't get her choice of tiaras for the wedding. She stated, Prince Harry had a word with courtiers to say he really wanted Meghan to have her first choice. I think the words were, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. And that really didn't go down very well at the palace at all. So much so that the Queen didn't intervene, and we understand, had a word with Harry about his and Meghan's behavior, and was told in no uncertain terms that Meghan would get what she was given. Plus, many Kensington Palace attendants were notably rubbed the wrong way by her up and atom attitude, which is very common in the United States. Number 3. Camilla Parker Bowles the new Duchess of Sussex also has an alleged feud with her mother-in-law, Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince Charles' second wife. The National Enquirer reported that the two are fighting because Camilla won't associate with Meghan. A source told the tabloid, The drama with Meghan and Kate is nothing compared to what's going on with Camilla. Camilla doesn't really talk to Meghan. She is snobbiest and least friendly. Camilla even told her this is real life and you're not an actress playing a role. They farther stated that Meghan is trying to be close with her, but apparently, Camilla's frigidness isn't only directed towards Meghan. The source said, William and Harry aren't even close to Camilla either, so Harry is telling her not to worry about it. He's told Meghan she's the mistress of this father, so just forget about it. She's not important to their happiness. But this is all just speculation. Number 2. Moving out Although all of these feuds Meghan has had with various royal family members are speculative, she and Prince Harry have decided to move out of Kensington Palace. They confirmed in November 2018 that they'd be living the city lifestyle of London for Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Estate. They're timing their move so that they'll be able to settle into their new home for a while before Meghan gives birth. But to make this change, they had to have the house renovated. The building plan details show that there will be a yoga studio, a double staircase, and new fireplaces, among various other things. Plus, they're making the house eco-friendly. Some people think that they've decided to move due to family conflict. However, it's very reasonable that they simply want more privacy while welcoming their first child. Number 1. Breaking the Rules The British media has had a lot to say about Meghan Markle throughout her relationship with Prince Harry. After they got married, even more information has come out about her. People that work for the royal family have said that she's demanding and lashes out at staff members. However, there's a significant chance that the statements were overblown or taken out of context. We already discussed the fact that Meghan was raised in a different fashion than the people working and living at Kensington Palace. But it isn't too surprising that people will be upset about Markle straying from royal traditions. Not that it's a bad thing. She dresses modestly, but still makes fashion choices that set her apart. She paints her nails dark red, does things for herself instead of being waited on, and wears clothes that don't follow protocol, like the pink off-shoulder dress 
dress she wore to a trooping the color ceremony. Plus, she and Prince Harry are one of the only royal couples in which she wears a wedding ring too. These lovebirds are also known to have public displays of affection pretty often and have been seen smooching and holding hands on numerous occasions. They don't have full-blown makeout sessions, of course, but even small gestures have been avoided in the past. Today's feature comment comes from Leilin on our things all guys do when they're in love video. Thanks for your comment, Leilin. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.